Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a follow the YouTuber challenge. <laughs> what the heck is this even called? I don't even know. Today I'm going to be doing a follow along video. So I'm going to be following Miss Desi Perkins makeup and <sighs> before I get emotional. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like honestly, Desi is one of my favorite people here on YouTube. I've learned so much from her. I cannot even explain like how much I've learned from just watching her videos and I just I just love how she does her makeup and she's just like such an inspiration to me and I just I just want to be her you know she's just like so awesome so I'm going to be following her makeup and I was actually planning on doing a like natural look with a pop of color and this is exactly what she did so I'm going to do I'm just gonna recreate it I don't have all the same products as her or anything but I'm gonna use very similar ones and yeah let's uh, get this thing going shall we <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a get ready with me because tonight I'm having the girls over and I thought we can get ready together and I also thought to myself like why not do full cut crease look I want to wing full lashes full coverage foundation full coverage concealer boom just a full glam so the first thing we want to do is cancel out all this redness oh, on yes. the lid yes, for that I'm gonna be using the Clinique beyond perfecting super concealer today this is so, I don't have that, but I do have the Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> in the shade number 18. And for the under eyes, I usually use the Peach Corrector here. They have an apricot shade, which is a corrector, which is really good for any purple or dark undertones in the eye. I also use shade number 20 to conceal as well. This concealer comes in 18 different shades. And what's good about using this as your eyeshadow base is it is long lasting. So once it sets, it's gonna last you all day on your under eyes and on your lids. That's what I need. I need to try that. <laughs> all of I'm gonna be using the Ava ColourPop palette here. The first shade I'm gonna be using is Bonfire. Girl, hold on. <laughs> You gotta find a similar color. Okay. I need to wash my brushes. Holy crap. I'm gonna take that into the crease. So I'm taking the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm going to be going in with the shade Amber, which is this one up top here. Oh, Guys, I forgot that one of the shades broke. I have to tilt my head back and just really work that in. I'm using a MAC 224 for this. Ooh, girl, hold on. <laughs> Man, I look so pale. <laughs> I wonder if I really look, oh man, I just look so pale. I don't even know. So the next color that she uses is rather bright and uh, the only color I think I can really get close to it is Saffron from this palette right here. Next, I'm gonna be taking Passport and just applying it into the crease as well, really warming it up. Really now warming up that crease. And take it. Oh. Man, does it, it's just the way how it's edited. Do as well, and I know that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the darkest brown shade here, which is called Tan Line. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the outer V, and then also bring it into the crease. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I think it's pronounced Oud? Yes. O U D? I really love these colors. Oh. I mean, surprise, yeah, surprise, yeah. Surprise, Ooh, I don't right? know. <laughs> but she's going to put that in the outer crease, which I want to, to do right now, too. The crease. When I dip into the palette, I always go back into the outer V first because really that's where I want my product to be the darkest, and then I will just start buffing it into the crease. I don't like to go in heavy handed with the product into the crease first because I feel like what if I have too much on and I always feel safer just patting it here and then moving forward. Now that we are super smoky, I'm going to take the concealer one more time and I'm going to use that to carve out the crease. So I'm going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to carve out my, uh, my leaves here. I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer with a flat concealer brush and then we are just going to focus that on the lid space. This is gonna clean everything up and give us another really nice base for the eyeshadow that we're gonna put on the lid. And if it's your first time doing this, just work slowly. It takes a little bit of practice to get it right, but it's so easy once you get the hang of it. And once you get to the edges, just kind of feather out the concealer. I feel like I like don't breathe when I do this. 
else? Anybody else, like, just feel like they just don't breathe when they're doing this? Now we're gonna go into this shade right here, and this is Malibu. It's such a pretty. Okay, so that Malibu is a little less shiny than this, but I'm going to go in with um, with Celestial, which is right over here. She goes in the with her finger. Coppery bronze color. I'm gonna take my pinky and apply pinky. the pigment on with my finger first. Just in the center. Oh wow, this worry. actually is pink. Blend out this Wait, I'm going next here. to it. Now I'm going to take a concealer brush and pack that on. Go ahead and take this all the way up to where you applied the concealer. Okay, so I went in with Neferetti. Neferetti. Ugh. Why, do I, why do I stink at pronouncing things? Neferetti, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's just the color right next to it because I didn't know Celestial had a little bit of pink in it, and we need this to be more like gold and coppery. This look is really about like going back and forth from colors too as well. That's all I always find, and that's kind of like what I learned from Desi too as well, um, is to like really layer the colors and just keep on blending. Keep it blending. Now we're going to go ahead and do a wing. We're going to take it there. First I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Trooper Liner to create the wing. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be using the Star Look Pro. I got this from an Ipsy Glam Bag. And it has like one side is a star and one side is uh, the pen, which I think is really cool. <laughs> I feel like it's easier to use this to create the shape. I start by going along the lash line and then following the lash line up. And then I take it back. So I like to deepen up that wing even more by using a gel liner. This is Shady by Dose of Colors. Picking that up with an LC liner brush. And we are going to really intensify. So yes, nice and dark wing. I did one. Give me a second. So I'm not going to use the gel eyeliner just because I think this is dark enough. Uh, yeah. I just applied some lashes in the style Miami. These are Lily Galici lashes. Mmm, guys, it's been a while since I bought lashes. Why don't I have like any lashes around? Because I literally take them off random places. I have these lashes. Okay, give me like, mm, like a couple minutes. I'll be right back and put my lashes on. Okay, I mean, I do have to say lashes do give this look a whole new meaning, so. Okay, so I have my lashes on. Now I went ahead and mixed a little bit of my foundation here. So today I am using the It Cosmetics. It's the developed with plastic, oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Developed with plastic surgeons. It has clinical results. What's the name of this? Confidence in a compact. I'm in the color medium tan. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> and today I'm using the Lancome Ultra Wear Foundation and I'm just gonna apply it with a brush. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just really work that all over. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, I saw The Greatest Showman. Have you seen that movie? Uh, just kill me, it's so good. So good. Like, it's a musical, which I'm not really a musical person even though I love Disney movies and I love singing. I just don't know why musicals never really like get me going. But this one is incredible. Incredible, The Greatest Showman. I'm just, the music is really, really good. Like, so good. On top of that, the acting, I love it. What I love the most about this movie is the um, the way it's shot. Oh, it's so inspiring. It made me want to shoot like a creative video. Girl, you need to go see Les Mis. It's amazing. If you will, if you like musicals, you'll think it's amazing. So I definitely need to try this Clinique uh, Super Concealer because it sounds amazing. But I'm going to use a, a different kind, which is the Becca. This is the Under Eye Brightening Concealer. And I use this like every single day. Um, it has that apricot kind of color to it too as well. And I'm just going to pat that right underneath my eyes. <laughs> Do you see that face? 
the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. This color in particular is the shade Apricot and this is what you use to color correct and you use this before you apply your normal colored concealer and that's gonna correct everything and once it does then you apply another shade. So I'm just... Okay, so right now I'm going in with the NYX concealer. This is the HD Studio Photogenic uh, Concealer. Uh, conceal, y'all. And I'm just going to use that. I know that she's still using the Clinique products. Um, like I said, I really need to go and try out those Clinique products. And once I do, I will definitely let you guys know how they work because I'm very, very intrigued because her face looks absolutely amazing. Like it always does. But like, oh my god, <laughs> like snatched, okay? So, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going in with my Patch Star and MAC Cosmetics line and I'm going to set my under eyes. To set the entire face, I'm gonna be using the Becca Hydra Mist powder. For the lower lash line, I want to do something really fun. Add a little color to the look. So I was thinking blue. This is the Urban Decay LSD 24 hour liner. Just start applying this on the outer corner here and all through the waterline. So I used to have a blue eyeliner. It's very, very old and I don't have it anymore. So instead, going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. <laughs> And I'm just going to go in with um, these two colors right here. And I forget what they're called. I think one's Jada and one is Pool Party, if I do remember. And I'm going to take a flat liner brush. And I'm going to go in with both of those colors. So I'm going to go in real close right here. And then I'm going to bring it down to the lash line on the outer corner. I have to get really close to my mirror or else next thing you know, I will have all types of eyeliner on my contact and I just cannot be having that. Now, taking a pencil brush and it has a little bit of the warm tone that I used up top, I'm going to start blending this out a little bit. Okay, and now she takes one of the warmer colors and I'm gonna go back in with Amber from this Desert Dust palette and I'm just going, oh God. All right, just really blend it out. There we go. There we go. And I think I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, which is called Royal, and this is from the Violet Boss, the Rainbow Shadow Palette. Packing it right on top, especially focusing it on the outer part of the eye. And I'm gonna go in with this blue color right here. Um, once again, I'm really sorry, I'm not 100% sure what this name is, but it's the bright blue color in the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And I'm actually just doing like light patting motions first. And then you could always take a clean blending brush or a flat brush and just blend out those edges. I'm gonna take a black liner, warm it up on my hand, and then I'm actually gonna take that on the outer part of the eye. Guys, I found my blue eyeliner. <laughs> it's kind of bright, but I'm in, not bright, sorry. It's kind of dark. So it is the NYX Faux Blacks and it's in Midnight and it's an eyeliner. All right, I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Estee Lauder Heat Wave. It's in shambles in the inner corner of my eyes just to open it up a little bit. Okay, so I am going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette again and I'm going to use this color right here. Perfect. Oh, and then now she's going to Nontour, which is like contouring, but like, not <laughs> and I'm going to be taking the Tarte palette and this is in clay play and it's the face shaping palette I really love this palette like a whole lot so now I'm gonna go ahead and brontour this is the new morphe brontour it's a bronzer and a contour powder and I'm just gonna kind of mix them together and do a light dusting push that into the hairline oh yes 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 now we're gonna move into blush, and for blush, I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush, and this is in the shade That Peach, though. And I'm going to go in with my Flower Cosmetics, and this is in Sweet Pea. I love Flower Cosmetics so far. I'm really loving this blush. I can't wait to go and get more products. And now to make sure all these powders settle into our skin nicely, I'm using MAC Fix Plus. Yes, yes, yes. You know what, and I have this little fan. Renee, I stole this from your infant at the wedding. She gave it to me and I never gave it back. And it's perfect to dry my Fix Plus. 
I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of the Milani baked mm. bronzer. This is in Soleil 05. Obviously, have to use Fuego over here as I blind you. Obviously, this is Katie and Desi's line with Dose of Colors. If you guys didn't know, it's amazing. My favorite highlighter ever in this collection was like thebomb.com and I really hope that you guys are making more because like more for like another collection I'm bringing back this too as well because I would like that very very much you know for highlight I'll be using Stilla in the shade Brilliance mm. Mm. like hello oh my god I kid you not it's in my purse okay so that color is actually in my purse. I use it as my everyday color, that's why. So like For my lip, I'm gonna be using Dose of Colors More Creamer, please. This is our collab lip with Dose of Colors, Katie and I's. So I'm gonna go in with this MAC and uh, Mariah Carey lipstick, and it's in the shade Mickizzle. Mick On top of that, I'm gonna use a little bit of gloss, the Fenty Beauty Gloss. There it is. And on top of that, I'm going to use Over the Top Gloss. This is also from the Dose of Colors collection with Desi and Katie. Oh, guys, it smells so good. This is the finished makeup look. I really, really love how it turned out. Now it's time to go hang out with my girls. They're coming over. I gotta go put the hot Cheetos out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I be uploading videos all the time. Or maybe one time a week, sometimes two times a week, if I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> Bye, guys. Alrighty, guys. And that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. I really love how this actually turned out. Um, even though I didn't have all the same products as her, this just goes to show that you can still get the same kind of look without the products that us beauty gurus over here use like every single time you know so like that's really cool that's why I really love about this like whole little challenge thing because like I obviously didn't have like half the products that she had <laughs> actually I don't know if I even had one but you know it's still it's still a look you know alrighty guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and follow all my social media links I will have the link down below, and you can also check out my blog, which I am blogging every single day. I'm very, really excited about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!